Welcome back. All right, so just another quick update video again. News of the day. I just keep this board right handy. Um, so Matthias Janmark has signed a deal with the Edmonton Oilers. One year, 1.25 million. Janmark has some foot speed. He's ideally a third liner. Um, not a not a ton of offensive upside there, but I like Janmark's work ethic. Uh, I think he's a good player. Um, and he can get the odd goal here and there too. Played for Vegas the last couple of, well, last season in a bit, right? So uh, we'll see how things go for him in Edmonton. He might have a chance to get the occasional shift here and there with a couple of pretty good centers. Uh, and then St. Louis, and the reason why I'm wearing a Blues jersey. So they've signed Mikola to a contract worth $1.9 million for this season. Now he's a left side defenseman. And this is a this is an issue that I've seen Blues fans debating. So I thought oh, I could jump into that. Uh, so you've got Falk at 6.5. He's on the right side. On the left, you've got Krug at 6.5. Pareko, 6.5. There was a lot of talk about, you know, getting out the pitchforks and running him out of town after the playoffs. That seems to have died off, though. Uh, Letty, 4 million. They re-signed him, left defense. Uh, Scandella, 3.275, left defense as well. Bortuzzo, 950,000. He plays on the right side. Perunovic is one I want to highlight at 750,000 for another year. And he's a left side defenseman as well. The reason I want to highlight Prunovic is he looked ready to me. Uh, the games that he played in St. Louis to me looked ready. Now, uh, he doesn't have to clear waivers to get sent down. That's absolutely going to be a factor. But he's he's ready. So I do wonder what St. Louis is going to do. The one that Blues fans seem to be targeting for, well, let's get him out, is Krug. Uh, the offense that Krug provides is important. And I say that as a Bruins fan. And I don't think the Bruins have really made up for losing Krug. If he were available, I would hope that Don Sweeney would at least make the call and look and see what St. Louis would want in return because adding Krug back to the Bruins' blue line, especially with the injuries they're going to have to start the season, could be huge. Uh, with that being said, uh, to me it looks like Scandella is the one that would be the most vulnerable at that $3.275 million and just for his role with the team. Uh, Mikola played well, and again, if they're going to sign him for $1.9 million, that would pretty much indicate that he shouldn't be outside the top six. Uh, and again, to me, Bertuzzo, probably your number seven, but I thought Perunovic played well enough to get some top, top six minutes. One thing we did see with St. Louis with the injuries they went through this past season, they absolutely have a lot of depth on the blue line. Uh, they can now utilize that depth to to make a deal and, and maybe beef themselves up up front. Uh, they did add Grice as the backup goaltender, so their goaltending looks like it's set for this coming season. But the blue line definitely has too many bodies. There's definitely too many in St. Louis, so it becomes a question of who's on their way out and, and what do you look for in return? Do you trade out Krug and look to get back a prospect? Uh, do you look for just getting that cap money, or, or what do you do? Uh, and then we'll see what happens, but Del Zotto is signed with Florida today, so Del Zotto... Uh, one year league minimum for him as Del Zotto's tour through the league continues. He played for a lot of teams. Uh, definitely one that'll get a journeyman video upon his retirement. Uh, there are some journeymen now in the NHL that are passing their way through a number of teams. Max Domi coming to mind there. Uh, but yeah, so Del Zotto, I wish him all the best. Uh, he's a guy that if they need him to clear waivers, he can. Uh, good at points. Definitely some issues at points as well the, the last couple of seasons. They did definitely keep him out of the lineup regularly in, the, regularly in the National Hockey League, but it's a depth pickup. And again, Florida does pretty well with these depth pickups. Don't know if anybody's noticed or not. So let me know your thoughts. Uh, if you're C if you're St. Louis, who do you keep on that blue line, and who do you who do you look to trade, and then for what? Is it forward depth that you're looking at? Is it just purely trying to create some cap space? Uh, what are you looking for? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through you just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.